Hey guys, it's Monik here and if you're even remotely following the tech news, I'm very sure that you guys must have heard about the Galaxy M series. So the M series is the new lineup of budget devices between like 10,000 to 20,000 that Samsung is launching next week and the M stands for millennials. So the M series replaces the Samsung's budget lineup so the J series, the On series and all the bad smartphones that Samsung used to make. They are going to get replaced by the Galaxy M series and going by the specifications as well as the leaks of the Galaxy M series I think that this might actually change the budget smartphone market for Samsung which is actually slipping away from their hands and going into Xiaomi, Realme and other players in the market. So yeah, Samsung is coming back in the budget segment with three smartphones the Galaxy M10, the M20 as well as the M30. Although these phones are launching next week there have been a lot of leaks and rumors so I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about all of these three devices. So without wasting any more time let's get started with the first phone the Galaxy M10. So the M10 is like the most basic entry level smartphone that Samsung is going to make. It will be costing less than 10000 rupees. So the expected pricing is around 8 to 9000 rupees and this phone will have a hexa core CPU. So 6 core 7872 Exynos chipset from Samsung is going to power this phone and you will have two options either 2 GB RAM and 16 GB storage or 3 GB RAM and 32 GB storage. So yeah, you probably will have two variants of this phone. You also have 3400 mAh of battery. And the biggest thing is that this phone will get a 6.2 inch HD plus display with a dew drop notch. So Samsung is calling it the Infinity V display. So they are naming the notch curve as V curve and U curve. So anyways, it's basically a dew drop display. So you are getting a dew drop display for less than 10000 rupees. and for people wondering no this won't be an amoled display this will be an lcd display but still samsung does put some great displays on their phones and having a dew drop notch for less than 10000 rupees is something that a lot of people would like apart from that this phone has a 3400 mAh of battery so it doesn't sound a lot but then samsung makes their own exynos chipset so maybe they might optimize it better as compared to other chipsets but then i don't know about that we'll see when the phone launches You also have a micro USB port so no type C here and I think that this phone will also have a headphone jack. Finally coming to the cameras we've got a dual camera setup on the back so on the back you have a 13 plus 5 megapixel setup and on the front you've got a 5 megapixel sensor. So I'm not really sure about the dual camera on the back because Samsung is saying that it's going to be a wide angle sensor. So I don't know how they're going to implement it would the secondary 5 megapixel camera be a wide angle sensor or something like that I don't know. But yeah you've got a 13 plus 5 megapixel sensor on the back possibly a wide angle sensor and on the front you've got a 5 megapixel selfie shooter doesn't sound a lot so let's see how the quality is and all of this is going to cost you around 9000 rupees now i hope that the 3 plus 32 gb variant is costing 9000 rupees because if samsung is going to give 2 gb of ram and 16 gb of storage for 9000 it's not going to make a lot of sense So yeah that is the Galaxy M10 you've got the Exynos 7872 2 or 3 gigs of RAM 3400 mAh of battery 6.2 inch 720p dew drop display and a lot of other things so i'm really excited about this phone but then it's going to go against the Nokia 5.1 plus which has the Helio P60 the Redmi 6 Pro with Snapdragon 625 as well as the Zenfone Max Pro M1 which has a Snapdragon 636 for 10000 rupees so the competition is going to be very stiff but I'm hoping that Samsung does something good with the pricing. Now let's jump on to the next phone, the Galaxy M20. So this phone is going to be around 13000 rupees and it will get the Exynos 7885 chipset. Now I'm not sure if it will get the 7885 or the 7904. It's going to be uh, either of those because the 7904 was just launched by Samsung. So yeah, either of these two chipsets would be there on the Galaxy M20. You will have 3 gigs of RAM and there will be two storage options, 32 GB as well as 64 GB. Now I'm not sure if there will be a 4 GB RAM variant but a 3 GB variant is coming for sure. Like I said it's going to sell for 13000 rupees. You will have a 6.3 inch full HD plus display so on this phone also you get the Infinity V display so dew drop notch and 6.3 inch in size so bit bigger than the Galaxy M10. Once again it's going to be an LCD display it won't be an AMOLED panel and the rear camera setup is going to be similar as the Galaxy M10. So you will get the 13 plus 5 megapixel sensor on the back but on the front there will be an 8 megapixel sensor. So a slight bump there in terms of megapixels but then if you compare it to other phones in this segment like the Realme 2 Pro the Zenfone Max Pro M2 everyone's got a 16 megapixel sensor minimum on the front. So 8 megapixel doesn't sound a lot so I hope Samsung does something with the quality of the sensor. It's also getting a 5000 mAh of battery and you also have a micro USB port on this phone so no type C and I'm not sure about fast charging it might have 15 watt fast charging but 
let's see when the phone launches because samsung is claiming that they're going to give 3x fast charging so basically if you look on the amazon page you can see that there will be a 15 watt charger available but then i'm not sure on which phones you will get this charger i'm assuming that on the m20 as well as on the m30 you will be getting this fast charger so all of this is going to come for 12,990, so 13,000 rupees so it has to go up against the realme 2 pro the Zenfone Max Pro M2, the Redmi Note 6 Pro and all of the other phones in this price segment. So it's going to be quite difficult. So let's see how things go. And yeah, both of these phones, the M10 as well as the M20 are going to come with Android 8.1 Oreo. So don't expect Android Pie as of now. Finally, let's come to the phone that I have been excited about, the Galaxy M30. Now, I don't know what chipset this phone will have. It might have the 7885 or the 7904 or Samsung might launch something new. So the chipset I'm not sure about. But then this phone is going to get a Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display. So Samsung is known for their AMOLED displays. They are one of the best in the market. So if they're going to bring that technology for 18,000 rupees on the Galaxy M30, it's going to appeal to a lot of users. So yeah, you're going to get a Super AMOLED display, Full HD Plus. The size of the display is something I'm not sure about. It might be a 6.3 inch or a 6.3 5 inch. I hope it's a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display. It would be amazing in this price segment. Once again, you've got a dew drop notch here, 5000 mAh of battery. You've got USB Type C, and even on this phone, you have a 5000 mAh of battery. But the biggest thing on this phone is a triple camera setup. So, something that you've seen on the Galaxy A7, it's coming to the Galaxy M30 for 18,000 rupees. So, you will have a triple camera setup. And I'm really excited to test out the cameras on this phone. I don't know about the front facing camera yet, but I'm hoping that Samsung would do a 12 or a 16 megapixel sensor on that phone. So yeah, the M30 is the phone that I'm really excited about. 5000 mAh of battery, 15 watt fast charging, triple camera setup. You've got super AMOLED display for only 18,000 rupees. So this is all you need to know about the Galaxy M series. The M10, the M20, the M30, all of these three phones would be coming out next week. And I think Samsung is going to sell them on Amazon as well as on their website. I don't know if these phones are going to be available offline or not, but considering Samsung, I think these phones will be available offline. So anyways, that's all I have to say about the Galaxy M10, the M20 as well as the M30. If I find any other interesting information about these phones, then I'll tweet them on my Twitter page. So if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, go follow Gizmodict on Twitter. What do you guys think about the Galaxy M series? Do you think you would buy them or you would stick to the typical smartphones like Asus, Xiaomi, Realme, etc, etc. So yeah, do let me know your opinions in the comments and if you like this video then please hit the thumbs up button and if you're new here then definitely hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you guys don't miss out on the Galaxy M series coverage that I would be doing. That's all for now, thanks for watching and I'll be back in the notifications very very soon. Peace.